Alright, here we go. Another sprawling test through the arcing thought blinder that I'm working on. As you can see, <laughs> there is a heck of a lot of weight here. And you've probably noticed all the reaction wheels. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's necessary to drive this thing. Absolutely necessary. <laughs> anyway, design is nowhere yet complete. I have to put uh, drilling pods down here on the leg jet. And probably won't need any keythane tanks because this should be enough of a buffer because I'm going to be running the drills and the refinery unit simultaneously. And I figure it'll take uh, probably a quarter of a year to refuel this thing. <laughs> but I've got the skipper engines down here in the bottom act as the landing stage for whenever I go off of whatever planet or moon. And in between the planets and moons, I have my interplanetary drive, which is the atomic engines. Probably not enough thrust, but I'm more worried about efficiency. In space, you know, you've got nothing but time. Not so much down here. That's the skippers. If you don't like the skimpers, you're just wrong. Anyway, uh, the problems I'm still working on so far is <laughs> that tends to calve off. So do the thruster engines. And the croupons on the front keep popping off, which drives me nuts. I'm guessing the actual attachment point... Uh, it doesn't have enough staying power, so I tried to brace it here in the front, which isn't nowhere near enough, but, you know, what the hell. Alright, enough talk. <laughs> Let's get this piggy in the air. I'm going to take out the landing pad. We're going to do a nice little smooth set down. And then, after that, once I get it settled down and... Calm down. Come on, come on, come on. Don't screw up me now, man. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. <laughs> it's like driving a dump truck on Lord. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Quit drifting over to the side there. Alright. Cut the throttle. Cut the forward momentum. Okay. Well, no, we don't want to cut that much. Thank you. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Calm down. Calm down. Alright, alright. All right, now we'll put it down, and then we'll do the drop test. Whoa, 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 okay, I don't know why we're going that way. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on. Don't do that to me. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> All right, remember what I said about the pieces calving off? <laughs> there they go. Interesting. Front left, back right. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, well. Anyway. Let's uh, straighten it out on the legs a little bit. We'll drop it down. Sprawling. Now, with the leg structural bit, I just want to point out that... Well, the top here, you can see the superstructure. The, uh, the girders and struts. Basically, these frames, or these uh, tanks, effectively hang from that frame, because structurally speaking, uh, that is the strength of it. Uh, that goes all the way down to the legs here, so it's like uh, an arch. That's how it uh, has the strength to hold up all that weight. <laughs> Engineering, gotta love it. The bottom, you can see, has that trust work and the reaction control, but they do not link up to the legs at all. Uh, the actual framework, so it's all hanging. This middle here is hanging from the sides and hanging from the top. Uh, so it's suspended, and that's what makes it work. Implausible, probably, but functional. <laughs> okay, that's why I had trouble. I didn't have the sass on. All right, apparently I'm some kind of idiot. <laughs> all right, let's do a sprawling test. Back to the future in the background. Oh, oh okay, well, it doesn't like that. Well, let's drop it anyway. Come on, come on, come on. Sprawling. There goes the other front end. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the port. Jeez. <laughs> but the important thing, and the subject of this test, is the legs are handling it like a champ. Love them legs. Mm. Alright, more sprawling. More sprawling. Sprawling. Oh, maybe a little too much sprawling. Nah, that'll be fine. All that weight just crashing down. 
<laughs> sproing. <laughs> All right, more sproing. Much more sproing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't do that. No, 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 no. All right, cut it, cut it, cut it. Sproing. Come on, sproing. <laughs> oh, we lost one. I eh, landed on a funny, so that's my fault. Not level. But look at that. Sproing. <laughs> Love it. Uh, one other thing I want to point out about the leg design is you notice that the legs are not attached to each other at this point or at this point. It's only up at the trussing point here that, yeah, what the hell, that they are actually bound together. Uh, the reason for that is I want these to be able to move to independent vertical heights. Uh, this is a big thing, and the ground I'm going to be landing on is uneven. So the individual landing legs or fingers or whatever you want to call them, they could adjust to match the height and thus spread the weight out more effectively. And let's wreck it to end out the video. Why not? Let's do a big sprawling. Come on, large ones, big sprawling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope, nope, nope. Yep, 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 yep. Big sprawling, big sprawling. Or sprawling. Okay, too much sprawling. <laughs> nope, nope, that'll work. Oh, there goes the other engine. <laughs> More dust clouds. I love that dust cloud. That's how you know you mean business. <laughs> Alright, on this side, all the legs are still there. Oh, struts broke there. Struts broke there. Alright, so I get a little bit of damage from that fall. And of course, you know, that back part's still off there, but yeah, look at that. That is, that took a hell of an impact. And we'll straighten out the legs here real quick. And, no, that's probably going to go. <laughs> and it doesn't. Man, this thing is way too robust. <laughs> what? Yeah, robust. <laughs> I got garbage scattered all over the ground here, and I'm talking about robust. I said it before and I'll say it again. Apparently I'm some kind of idiot. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Sproing. Give me sproing. Sproing. <laughs> Alright, that's enough. I wasted enough of your time. Well, that's it. I'll, uh... Oh, when I got the design of this thing actually done and no pieces are cabin off, even after I slam it into the ground from 100 meters up, uh, then I'll build the... <laughs> Oh god, I can't even imagine the kind of rocket it's going to take to get this thing into orbit, but I could do it. It's just a matter of time. Time, patience, and stupidity. <laughs> the hallmark of all my builds. And other than that, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>